Yo, what's going on guys, it's Frankie here, and today I'm going to be bringing you the first episode of my new series. Um, in this series I'm going to be teaching you how to set up properly, um, to pull a flag successfully and easily. Um, I'm going to be showing you the best way and an optional way, um, obviously depending on the matters, but I'm going to be showing you both ways and how to set up perfectly. P please excuse that I've actually done the drawings on paint um, but I've actually put a lot more effort in than you would have imagined I've actually thought about everything that I've done so, so let's get into this guys and straight away I'm going to be showing you the splits that I recommend that your team should do so straight away you should have two SMGs and straight away you're going to need to try and get control with this blue so I'll, I normally send two SMGs to there my first AR, which isn't going to be me, I always send to Graveyard. Um, just send them to Graveyard so they can kind of watch the whole of the middle map. Make sure that no one crosses over to Yellow Bin Police Car. And make sure no one rushes us towards mid or mid into blue. So make sure just covering main elements of the map there. And then the main kind of slay and roll, this is what I actually do. So straight away I'm going to run over towards B search. And pretty much the whole time I'm going to be on this uh, good side, I'm going to just try to hold down the police car um, and yellow bin area. That's mainly all I do. I'm going to just sit here in this yellow bin area, just kind of making sure that you hold it down while your team's set up. As you don't want to sit on the police car too early because you will give them the um, spawn at the back of the flag. And you're going to want just kind of any player, doesn't matter, SNG or AR, just to sit on these top stairs. You're going to want a player just sitting here at yellow dustbins outside blue, cutting off the blue spawns as well. And once you have the person at the top of the stairs and at yellow uh, bins outside blue, you're going to want to go back to the police car to actually get the spawns as they will be spawning now in front of you. If you don't have that, then they're going to be spawning back flags, so you, you sit on police cars pretty much pointless. So this is done, the last player on your team is going to be the one that's going to be running the flag. You're going to want to be pushing from the blue alley to actually pull the flag. And your setup should look something like this in the yellow dots now on your screen. And now I'm going to show you the perfect flag pull to pull it once you've got this perfect setup. So as the last player on the team, you're just going to want to push down blue alley. You're going to grab the flag, you need to stun, nade, whatever you need to do. And you're going to push straight back up, past the person cutting off the blue spawns, straight out of blue into middle map, as no one, no one should have leaked because you would have controlled all the spawns at police car. And if they had a spawn back flag, the person at the top of the stairs will be able to cut that off or call them out. So that was actually the most fastest and efficient way to pull a flag. But now if you look at the um, the orange line on the little map thing in front of you now, this is going to be the, um, the optional flag route depending on if, if anyone leaks. So you straight away you're just going to kind of want to pull it. Uh, it's pretty much the same. Instead of coming out of blue um, on the right hand side door, you're going to run straight through. As this kind of gives the chance if someone dies on police car, then they're all going to be flooding the B search side. You don't really want to run through graves. This, they get to you easily. So you just want to run it on the outside. It's a little bit longer, but it's also kind of a little bit safer if someone does leak. So, so now we're going to be switching over to the other side. This is actually the worst side. Um, and to be honest, you're going to be playing a lot of defense. If the other team's going to be getting the right setups, then you're going to be pushed back and spawn, and you're going to be spawning by the police car because that's the spawn trap that everyone normally does. So here you can see the setups again. I've done um, that again for the picture. And here you're just going to get one AR player basically holding the spawns in blue, one AR player holding middle fountain, making sure they don't come from garage nor leak through from graveyard uh, middle and then on the last person it's kind of really important as you're going to be wanting the person to actually just hold the spawn to make them spawn over um, to the left hand side opposite graveyard as you can see on the picture there um, but now this is going to be the fastest actual flag route to pull this map uh, with the most cover um, and it's most secure way to pull it. So you want to go past B search or behind the bricks cover, cut through middle as obviously your AR player will be holding off middle graveyard and there shouldn't really be anybody leaking. Now this is going to be the slower um, of the two but as the other one, this one is actually going to be the most safer also. Um, it just depends whether your mid AR player is still alive 
and the person in blue because if the, obviously the person in blue died you're going to want to kind of stay alive just so you can get people in your spawn to people in your team to respawn hope you've enjoyed this guys um yeah if you do like it please leave it a like and i'll carry on with the series if i don't get um about 15 likes then i won't actually carry on with the series as this did take a lot of time and effort compared to my other videos um so i hope you enjoyed this guys Please get to 15 likes and I'll make this um, episode 2. Thanks a lot guys. In a bit.